And we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our very first podcast, the Super Saiyan Podcast. Uh, we have a small team of Super Saiyan streamers, and we're going to do a pod, uh, podcast at least once a week, probably two times a week. So, Gaming Azar, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, hello, everybody. Gaming Azar88 here. I'm excited to talk about the Nintendo Switch and Mario Maker 2 possibilities. Yes. And uh, thanks, Crash, for having us today. No problem, no problem. Uh, anything you want to talk about, about your stream? Let let guys know who you are and what you do. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on a stream challenge right now, streaming every day uh, until I get partnered. And I want... It's been about almost three weeks now, but every day is awesome. So that's really all I gotta say about myself right now. I'm uh, and uh, we have Deadly Muffin Cat as well here. Yes, Deadly Muffin Cat, introduce yourself. Hi, how's it going, everyone? Uh, my name is Deadly Muffin Cat. I'm a pretty laid back, casual streamer. I play a lot of games. Um, Glad to be here, and I want to give a shout out to my friends Raw Joe and Jasmine in the chat. Uh, yeah, Woo-hoo. hello everybody. Um, <laughs> good, good morning for me. Good night for you, probably. <laughs> yeah. Before we start, Crush, tell us about your time zone real quick. Uh, I live in Europe, so for me it's 6 a.m. in the morning right now. <laughs> so it's <Wow>. almost. <laughs> it's almost like I'm I'm off to work, <laughs> even earlier. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> But, that uh, is amazing. But this is more fun than work, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, normally we, we have one more Super Saiyan streamer called Richie D. He speedruns Super Mario Maker. I mean, Super <laughs> Super Mario 64. He isn't here today, but he will join us in other podcasts, I'm sure. So, uh, our first topic of the day is the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we're just basically gonna talk about what we want with the Switch, what we hope the Switch is gonna be. Well, we know what it's gonna be, but basically what games we want on it and uh, what we want for it actually. So, uh, yeah. Gaming, oh, I... what do you want yes. for the, what would you, what would make you buy the Switch? Day one buy Day one for buy. me. Super Mario Maker 2. Super Mario Hands Maker. Hands down. <laughs> so I love I love me some Mario Maker. But um it's been about a month, I believe, guys, since we saw the original trailer. Now that everything's kinda calmed down. Everyone's kinda like relaxing. And um <laughs> we're uh now we're kinda calmed down on the topic. I still feel the same, dude. I still feel the same about it. It's still it's too early to call, man. It's too close to call. Yeah, that's true. Because basically, we don't know what games are. Uh, well, we know Zelda is coming uh, as a launch mm-hmm. title. And I heard Dragon Quest. I don't know if that's a launch title, but I heard that's a confirmed game. And then we got Sonic. That's a confirmed game. And that's basically what we have right now. So three games are confirmed, and that's it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and Deadly, what about you? What would be a day one buy for you? Like, you're um, just like, what? I'm getting it. Day one. I think day one buy would be probably a new Pokemon game. Like uh, a, main, a main series Pokemon game. I know Sun and Moon is just about to come out, but like, or a new Pokemon franchise or something. That may be a new, exciting franchise, and I think the biggest thing would be as if I could walk into a store and actually buy it day one. <laughs> that, that works. <laughs> Which we well. know has been an issue with Nintendo in the past, and currently with the NES Classic. At least here in the States, you can't walk into a store and buy one. Uh, yeah, I don't know um, about us in Europe about the NES Classic. I pre-ordered it, so I got it, but... I bet mm-hmm. if I I go to the store right now, I can't find any. Pretty sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, it's a hot item. Yeah. Uh, what and I, you crush? What about you? What about you? What What would be yeah. a day one buy? Uh, day for you? one buy. Basically, um, well, Zelda looks super super cool. Um, if the game is a lot nicer looking on the NX or Switch, sorry, <laughs> I will probably get the Switch and. 
just a new 3D Mario. If the if uh, if I get a new 3D Mario and a new Zelda, I, I'm down for a day one purchase. Nice. And I'm pretty sure yeah. uh, I don't want to burst your bubble anything gaming, but I don't think we're getting a Mario Maker at the uh, release. I'm pretty sure we get a main Mario game, and then later on, probably Mario Maker two. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! She <laughs> <laughs> just broke my heart. Nintendo just broke here. I love here. me some Mario Maker, man. I, like I said just a second ago, man. Mario Maker two. Okay, I changed my mind. If they reveal it, if they reveal Mario Maker two, I'll buy it day one. Sounds good. Good. Well, but didn't they do that with the Wii U? They like they've been teasing the Zelda game uh -oh. since like 2013. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I remember <laughs> when they uh, showed some footage for a Zelda game, and that game yeah. never never got to fruition. But so. Basically, that Mario game that they showed might not even be the Mario game we're gonna get, you know? Yeah. We don't know yet. We we know well, in January. <laughs> yeah, well, Mario Maker just kind of came out of left field, right? It was like two years in advance. They announced it and it came out two years later, or was it one year later? I think it was about one year, maybe a bit I more. Think it, yeah, I think it was one year. I yeah. think it, it came pretty... Close. I think they like unveiled it, but they didn't really talk much about it. And then like it just came out. Like they revealed it, and then it came out for the Wii U. And yeah, I know. I, I remember when they unveiled it and they showed gameplay and stuff, and it was very basic still. But uh, mm -hmm. it did make me excited. <laughs> So they're not going to get any new information until January, the uh, beginning of the year, January. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, a couple, <laughs> three months away. So, uh, yeah, it's not too far away, but still, I, I want to uh, have some news earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I would love some news earlier. Well, considering it's going to come out in March, allegedly, I mean, we'll get a release date supposedly in January. Like, we'll know when. But, uh, so I think there's a Nintendo Direct in January. Let me check it right now. Um, also, that's what uh, everybody was waiting for a so, Nintendo Direct. So, mm -hmm. the, yeah, a big Direct with all the games. Um, so basically, we don't know what games are coming for it until mid January. And that's like two months before the release. So, yeah, the 13th of January 2017, there's going to be a Nintendo Switch presentation. So basically, I think they're going to show all the release games, uh, launch games, and probably uh, some games that aren't launch games, but they're going to show show some of it. I'm hoping for a Metroid. But uh, I'm not keeping my hopes up for a Metroid on release day. Yeah. I am keeping my hopes mm -hmm. up for at least one Metroid game. <laughs> There has to be at least one killer and, game for well, launch. Well, yeah, Zelda. One. Zelda is at least one, but we also get it on a Wii U. But let's yeah, be honest, so what, not many people care about the Wii U, um, except re Nintendo fans. But mm -hmm. um, so basically, uh, a lot of people don't own a Wii U. So for them, to buy a Switch for Zelda is still an option, you know. We can just buy yeah. we can just buy Zelda for a Wii U, but a lot of people don't own the Wii U, so a lot of people might buy the Switch for Zelda. Well, I think we'll see the Wii U go on sale this holiday season, though. Well, they should. They've, <laughs> they've got a lot of units that they want to clear out. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Because uh, basically, you can get a Wii U if you go to the store. You can basically get an Xbox One or PlayStation 4 for basically the same price. Mm -hmm. You won't be paying much more. Not a yeah, not cause... a not a PlayStation 4 Pro, but uh, the normal PlayStation 4. Well, yeah, the new Slim now. Yeah, yeah, the Slim. So let's just say let's do a let's do a let's do a price check. Let's do Nintendo Switch comes out. Let's say it's three hundred dollars. That's mm -hmm. a nice price okay. point. Yeah, three hundred bucks. 
let's say uh, Nintendo says the games are going to be 50 bucks, which I really hope so. I really hope the games are fifty dollars, but they're probably not. They're Pro- probably going to be sixty. Yeah, right? probably sixty. Probably. Ooh, I mean, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, you well, it depends on the. It. You go first, uh, Deadly. Uh, you could see it theoretically. Fifty would kind of make sense because that's like halfway between their home console prices and like the DS prices are forty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. between forty and sixty, you could see fifty. That would average out. Since yeah. this is like them trying to merge them together. Yeah. Come at me with everything you've got. So Understand? let's just say 50, right? So let's say mm-hmm. I'm, I'm assuming most consumers are going to buy two games. Um, mm-hmm. So that's 50 and another 50. And then for me, I'm going to have to get a controller because oh, I just, yeah. I'm not going to enjoy that controller. Um, um, that's going to be another, let's just say 50. So we're looking at $450 before tax. And, um, <laughs> oh my goodness, at that point, man, I'm just, I'm going to have to start saving my pennies, guys. <laughs> well, um, what, I, what I'm hoping is that maybe, I don't think the Wii U, I don't think the, the Wii Mote will carry over, I don't think the GamePad will carry over, but nope. maybe if, if they carry the Pro Controller over, that would be nice. That would be nice, because I do like the Pro Controller. I don't know if they'll do that though, because they probably want to sell that new pro-ish looking controller that they showed. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I don't think it's gonna be compatible. Just yeah, like probably uh, not. Yeah, probably not. What I'm thinking is, I hope three hundred dollars, maybe with a game. Oh That man. would be good. Yeah, bundled, bundled with, with, with Zelda like, uh, or bundles. Mario, one of the two. Yeah, one of the two. That'd be a good because. Would be nice. Then that'd be kind of like what they had with the Wii, how you could get it with like Wii Sports and stuff, you know? So like you had some stuff, like even if it came with like a smaller game, that'd be not. Yeah. Yeah, I- I'm probably sure they're gonna make a bundle without the game and with a game, right? Or, mm-hmm. or let's talk Wii U. Wii U came with, um, well, if you got the uh, black one with uh, 32 gigabytes, you got. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, you um, got, you the, got uh, Nintendo Land. Nintendo Land, yes. Yes. So maybe so. It's something small like that. But uh. Yeah, that's been the the trend, right, with Nintendo. I mean, that's old school too. When Nintendo came out, NES, it came with two controllers yes. and Mario, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Like, and you yeah. saw the success of the NES Mini. It throws it back. It's a throwback. People love that, man. They want to go back in time. I was holding mm-hmm. a controller today. Like, yeah. I felt good, man. I felt good. Yeah. Feels yeah. good, man. And, yes, and if they do good. that again with the uh, Nintendo Switch, that's going to... Everybody loves that word, bundle. So yeah, what if people... I, yeah, what if I bundle it with a controller? That could be interesting. Mm, yeah, that could work, too. Yeah. Um, that could work, too. I think for... Um, I think there were a couple of bundles for the Wii U that gave a Pro Controller with it. Mm-hmm. I don't remember the bundles for the Wii U. <laughs> I was I actually got the Wii U launch day, so I can tell you right now I was very disappointed with the launch. Nintendo mm-hmm. Land was a cute game, sure, you know, friends and family, yeah, yeah. But um, I got Black Ops, I think it was Black Ops. Um, the online multiplayer mm-hmm. was dead, you know, within mm-hmm. a couple months. Um, yeah. Then it was sitting, and then you know, thankfully. Super Smash Brothers came out, uh, Super Mario came out, and I've been playing, you know, those games for probably thousands of hours almost. <laughs> yeah. So, I know I got um, I I bought it late. I bought it in like February, and I got the Mario Maker bundle, which came with Mario Maker, the 32 gigabyte black console, and then it also came with like the anniversary edition amiibo or whatever nice but that wasn't yeah. that wasn't a launch bundle or anything i know there's That's... like a there's a mario kart bundle too i think you can get stuff. yeah there's... yeah there's a mario kart bundle mario maker bundle uh monster hunter monster hunter had a bundle i know zombie U had a bundle uh zelda <laughs> zombie zelda uh, wind waker had a bundle with uh, the game oh, that had like gold thingies oh on it. yeah that was yeah. nice yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. Mm-hmm. I, I think even uh, Just Dance had a bundle or something like that. 
Uh, I did. Oh my uh, gosh. I got the Wii U not on launch day. Uh, I got it like half a year later or something like that. Wow. Half wow. a year or. Well, the Wii. I didn't buy the Wii. So, uh, to, to me, have uh, bought the Wii U uh, is still a big deal, you know? Um, yeah. Because I was, I was basically, I just skipped the whole Wii. I was just playing 360 all day. <laughs> But, yeah, um, the Wii was. But the Wii again, U, uh, I got that on day one. The Wii U got me over because uh, it's less gimmicky than the Wii. Mhm. Mm and that's what I, I I just want a good controller and a good game, you know. That's all I need. And I think the gamepad is pretty nice uh, if it's used well. Like in Super Mario Maker, it's used perfectly. Uh, yeah. I can just make the levels quickly. That's like the only game really I think that has like. Great functionality for well, the gamepad. I like uh, I like the stuff on Zelda as well, where you can switch items real quick, and you got the map, you know. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. And that's pretty cool, but it's not not like you're gonna I mean, miss it. To put it bluntly, when they released Smash Bros, they had to release a whole other accessory just for a controller, <laughs> and mm -hmm. those controllers only work on Smash Bros. I was yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. How cool would it be if it uh, would work on Mario Kart 8 and stuff? Exactly. Even though yeah. so... I think the Pro Controller, and I even think the Wii U gamepad uh, is uh, holds really nice in my hands. So I yeah, think it does. Good controller. It's, yeah. It's surprising how like comfortable the gamepad can actually be. Yeah, because like, the yeah, first totally. time I was like, well, it's just a big gamepad. How's, gonna, how's that going to play? Comfortably, you know, for a long period of time, but it's really lightweighted, and uh, and at the back you have like uh, to rest your hands. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're well, going back to um, since I had it since launch. Going back to Call of Duty, I can't play that on the Wii gamepad. <laughs> going back to Super <laughs> Smash Bros, I can't play that on the Wii gamepad. You uh, know, like that's where mm -hmm. people want to be comfortable. You know. I got and the, they want to uh, play good. Yeah, yeah. I got the uh, when I bought the uh, Smash Brothers, I got the GameCube controller with it, and the mm. connectors was like a bundle yeah. with the connect with the uh, connector. And then I bought the GameCube controller separately. Yeah. Oh, and that that brings up an interesting point. Are we gonna experience that again with the Switch, where the like the native controller like holding it like? For some games, is not going to be the greatest, or is it going to be better integrated this time? You think? I think it's going to be better because uh, when you're playing it as a console, you're not you don't have the big screen, you don't have the screen, mm -hmm. so you have the smaller controller. Uh, I think mm -hmm. that that would work. Well, for me, my hands are kind of chunky, so. Yeah. Anything that's not any if it's when I use the Wiimote, um, it hurts my hands uh, <laughs> because yeah. I cannot use that thing. Well, I'm not talking about to... uh, I'm not talking about the Joy Joy Cons, what they're called, the little tiny ones. Yeah, you're uh, talking about when they're connected on the Switch, right, or on the actual. You mean the, the controller can, picture on your, uh, on you your can, picture right there? Yeah, you can connect. Yeah, I don't think that controller. I think that controller is going to be pretty good, actually. I, minus that it doesn't have a real D-pad. Mm -hmm. I want a real D-pad, so I'm that probably going to get a pro controller for that. Best, the best controller is the Dreamcast controller. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 I was thinking about What's Nintendo your 64. What's controller crush out of all time? Uh, all time. Well, it's hard. I like. I really like the GameCube controller. Uh, yeah, that just feels mm -hmm. that just feels right. And if they just yeah. updated it a little bit, like you have only one Z button, make two Z buttons at each side, mm -hmm. and make the uh, D pad oh. a bit bigger. I think the D pad is a little bit small on the GameCube controller. Yeah. And if you can push down the uh, the joysticks, the analog sticks, then then you're done. It's a great controller. You're done. <laughs> you know? What about you, Deadly? What's your favorite controller all time? Favorite controller. Favorite controller of all time. Tough. I'd probably have to give it to, honestly, probably the PS4. Whoa. It's, each each iteration of the DualShock has just gotten better and better in my in my opinion, and like the the DualShock Four, 
like the way it's it's been rounded basically i think is perfect like it's like the most comfortable in my hand like the button layout's perfect the triggers are perfect the bumpers are great so i'd have to go with the ps4 controller yeah. I just love the Dreamcast controller. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I never had. I just a, always loved it. I never had because the fighting game felt so good on it. Yeah, it is a good. It is a good controller. I would say probably a close second would be the, not the original Xbox controller, not the big one, but the like the S controller that came oh. after that. That was pretty good too. That was that was right. That's right up there with the PS4 in my opinion. I think. Uh... My brother has a PS4, so I played some some PS4, and I do like the controller. There are a couple of things I don't like about it, but it's minor gripes. And when you use the controller more, it's not a big deal. But uh, mm-hmm. uh, I think the I think the Xbox One controller is the best Xbox controller in my opinion. I think they improved on it a lot, but that's my opinion, of course. So <laughs> yeah, it's not. I think it's great for. Um for definitely for like like 3D action games and racing games and stuff. I agree. It's a good. I think really there's pretty solid controller offerings. Um, I think yeah, the offerings right of now. The, uh, yeah, yeah. I think there when you go with the big three systems, I think all controllers are good. Mhm. Basically. Yeah. 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 Even the Wii U Pro controller is like I it's think really good. It was really good. I think the Wii U Pro, the Wii U Pro controller, it fits perfectly in my hand, perfectly. Yeah, yeah. perfect. And I, I like agree. the I like the battery life as well. <laughs> I do too. That is a great. <laughs> that point. Lasts the battery, a good while. battery life is awesome. Like I haven't charged mine in probably like two or three months, and it still works. Yahoo! Yahoo! I think it's like eighty hours battery life. That's sick. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Wow, and I know every so, time when I go to my brother, he has to charge the PS4 controller because uh, it's <laughs> almost empty always. <laughs> I'm like, you have to charge it again. <laughs> oh, but that's bad. basically what the Wii U gamepad has. You have to charge it like every four hours. Oh yeah, we. If you're doing Mario Maker, it, like choose through it too. Yeah. Yeah. I can't finish a level before the Wii U gamepad. Uh, Exactly. It's gonna yeah, same. and I have the uh, bigger battery. I bought the bigger battery as well. <laughs> so um, let's let's start. We're gonna move over to Mario Maker Two. What we we want on that? But any last words on the Nintendo Switch? I actually kick this off. Uh, the Nintendo Switch. I cannot wait, guys. Like at first, I was a little bit like, uh, not sure, man. I don't know, but I'm still excited for it. You know, I'm hoping it succeeds, man, because I don't want to see... The one thing I don't want to see, dude, is Nintendo on Xbox. You know, Nintendo games on Xbox or PC. Even the uh, that Mario Go game. What is it called? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Super Mario Run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't... I don't see that, man. I just don't like it. I, it's something that's just because I'm... I guess I'm old school. I love Nintendo. I'm just old school, and I don't want them to go away, obviously. But I also don't want to see them um, fail. So I'm, I'm hoping for the best mm-hmm. for the Nintendo Switch. And that's all I have to say about it for now. Um, yeah, I guess for the Switch, it's going to come down to, I think, the price for me. As long as I keep it, like, that 300 and under, you know, 249 would be awesome, but... Like two ninety nine is still a good price, um, and it it needs to have games to back it up, you know. Like they can't it can't be another like two to three years after launch when we finally get that like killer like game that like is awesome, fits the hardware, is like a great game and everything. It needs to it needs to be launch or soon after. Yeah, and I think um, if you look at look at the Wii U right now, uh, basically no games are coming out for it by Nintendo. So I think they're focusing all the energy on the uh, Switch games, and I think I think they learn they learned their lesson from the Wii U about that. I think there's gonna be a lot more 
games coming up and faster for the Switch. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so yeah, my final thoughts on the Switch is I think it's really cool. Um, I hope it's powerful enough. It has to be more powerful than the Wii U. Um, uh, the Joy-Cons I'm probably never going to use. I don't feel that at all, but I, I, I like that you have a lot of controllers. You can play how you want to, basically, what you, what, it, what the trailer said to me. Like, you can use a Pro controller, you can use this controller, or you can use the Joy-Cons, uh, whatever fits your yeah. play style. And I like that about it. Um, and I do hope that, uh, that they do different Joy-Cons. Like, one is maybe 8-bit themed, like NES. One is Super NES themed. So if you're basically going to play a... Um, a Super Nintendo game in the eShop, if it's gonna mm -hmm. be called the eShop, you can like make your uh, Joy Cons look like uh, Super Nintendo, something like that. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you have GameCube on eShop, you can have GameCube's Joy Cons, so it plays almost like a GameCube. That would be nice. That'd be cool. Because the problem is now you have, you have Nintendo 64 uh, games on the eShop. And I bought Star Fox 64 on that, and the controls are just so weird because the C buttons are on the uh, second of the left and the right analog stick, and the, that mm -hmm. just doesn't work as nice as the uh, N64 controller. So they could True. fix if you if they have N64 uh, buttons with the C buttons, that would uh, fix the mm -hmm. uh, Nintendo 64 eShop games as well. Yeah, I agree because I bought um was it a Super Mario 64, and it it was kind of wonky and took a little bit to get used to. Yeah. That one's not so bad because I think doesn't like C controls like the camera or something. Yeah, so it's so. not like it's not critical, but I could see with other games where you need the C, like it would be really weird. Yeah, cuz I know um games that use C sticks as uh like a fighting game uses those for punching and stuff. Well, good luck mm -hmm. punching and stuff with the uh, analog stick. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Mario Maker 2, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, all right, first... Excited to talk about it. Um, all right, let me ask you guys a question. If there's one thing yep. you want to be uh, improved on in Super Mario Maker 2, what would it be? Uh, I, I will answer that, but I, I cannot just have one thing. Yeah, yeah. I want to say I know, multiple. I know, I know. I, know, I, know. <laughs> I want to yeah. say multiple things, but one thing that is just it needs to happen. Yeah, is just you know the ability to make you know true Mario levels with the slopes, with the um the world maps. Make your own Mario make game. Yeah, well, I I agree mm -hmm. with you on the world map, <laughs> and that's I want a world map so bad. I was playing. Uh, I got the NES Mini, I was playing Super Mario Bros. 3, and I was like, how cool would it be if you could make your own map like that? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be... That's the next level, you know? Yeah, that The would, next step. That would be so cool. Um, <laughs> so what... Yeah. What would you um, want, uh, Deadly? I think for... If I could only pick, like, one thing, I think it would be, like... Probably close to like what gaming said. I think it just needs to have like more, more sampling, more items, more themes, more backdrops. Like, um, I think it'd be really cool to have even a uh, like just basically like new skins for it. You know, because like even in like Super Mario World, like you have like all the different like levels. Water, water would be awesome. To have like water in it, like not like underwater. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like a, you can make a puddle yeah. of water in a part of the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like a pool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like a pool where you could like go in and swim, and then like the fish, and then like come back up. Like, especially like even in like the cave levels in that one. Yeah, yeah, and uh, pools of lava at that as well. Uh, why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember when I first got Mario Maker, I was like, I was asking. How do I do the lava or the water in the sub world? <laughs> yeah. Or in the regular world? Oh, you mm -hmm. have to change the whole world to water. And I was like, what? That makes no sense. Yeah. I know what you mean. Oh. 
but Mario Maker 2, if it comes out on the Switch, which which Switch, which it probably will, uh, another okay. feature, of course, that would be top selling point for them. No reason not to make it. You saw the you saw the first commercial for it. Everybody's out having a good time, busting out the Switch. Dude, bust out the Switch and make a level together. You know, yeah, together, like, that's like, just yeah. a perfect commercial. It's just there's no reason why. Like, if they made a Mario Maker 2, that would be the selling point, man. Like, dude, you can make levels with your friends when you're out, you know, playing basketball. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's yeah. <laughs> Instead of uh, playing real basketball, or playing a video game <laughs> about basketball. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who wants to do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, uh, it's they don't show it on the uh, trailer, but I'm I'm hundred percent sure it will have a touch screen. So when you're out home, you can just make the level with the touch screen and then pop it on the console, and you can test your level on the TV. Mm -hmm. But also, I think because um, if it's not touch screen, well. You know they gotta make a uh, make it so you can make it with uh, with the uh, controllers. So I think they should add that as well, that you can uh, yeah. make your level with a controller. I know it's more tedious that way, but make it an option. Mm -hmm. Because you don't if you if you have it plugged on a TV, you don't have the screen. So, and if you just want to sit and relax, make a level on the couch without the tiny screen, you should be able to do that, in my opinion. So do you guys agree that, it, okay, let's, we're just, again, we're just, you know, assuming Mario Maker 2 will come out. You guys are basically, you can agree with me that it would not come out on the Nintendo Wii U, correct? Like, I, that would just be pointless at the, at this point? No. The Wii U is, uh, no? they're not going to waste the time anymore on the Wii U. No, okay. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure. I don't, uh, I, w I could see it on the 3DS, maybe. Oh but, no! Well, it is coming to the 3DS. <laughs> well, I don't know the first mia. one is. But I could see, I could see it being maybe a dual port between the two, but that's iffy even at that. I don't think. I think if it comes out, it's definitely gonna probably be Switch only. Because if it did come out, let's just say they announced it for some reason, Mario Maker 2 on Wii U. If it did mm -hmm. come out, it, I would be okay with that too, to be honest with you. Um, as long as it has, you know, these features, as long as we had those features that we're talking about, I would be okay with it. Would you guys be okay with it, or would you rather have it move to the Switch? Uh, oh, I, I would be Richie's okay. Richie's in chat. By yeah, the way. Richie. Richie, you can join if you like on the uh, Super Saiyan uh, channel on Discord. Uh, yeah, basically what I want, um, um, if it's on the Wii U, that's fine, you know, I would buy it, because uh, I still like the Wii yeah. U. Um, uh. Would I rather have it on the Switch so even more people can get it? Yes. Hmm. You know? Unless the Switch sucks. <laughs> 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 but what about you, Deadly? If it was on the Wii U, for whatever reason? Mm-hmm. Would you be okay with that? Would you think it would be dumb? Do you, what do you think? It would be dumb. I mean, as someone, who, as someone who owns a Wii U, like, hell yeah. That just means <laughs> I don't have to buy a Switch. But, like, I think that was dumb from Nintendo's standpoint. Because yeah, that's what like, I mean. Because yeah. nobody's... Come at me with everything you've got. Understand? Nobody's going to buy a Wii U uh, for any more. I don't know. I don't oh. care what game you're gonna make for it. It's no nobody's gonna buy a Wii U anymore unless it's super cheap. So the next game for Wii U coming out is the Zelda game. That's the last, the last, right? And, I don't uh, know any games coming out. I think one of you guys mentioned this last time. Yeah. Name a game that's coming out for the Wii U. I don't have an answer. <laughs> that's what I, think. I don't know. What well, Paper Mario just came out recently? That was like the last ah. one. Yeah, that's the last Nintendo game uh, besides Zelda. And I heard a uh, project, you know that Project Guard that's now uh, Star Fox Guard? And they mm -hmm. also showed a Project Giants or something like that. I heard that's still coming to the Wii U. Oh, wow. But that's it. Three Star Fox. 
I I was kind of excited about it, and I just I forgot about it. Same thing with Paper Mario. I was kind of excited about it, forgot about it, and honestly, I don't I don't know why. I don't really have an answer for that, but I feel like I just don't care enough anymore about the console to be excited about games. Zelda, definitely, it looks really cool when they did that press conference and they showed Zelda like all day. Uh, I was a little bit like, I was like, <laughs> I want to get the game now. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I don't want to watch this guy play for 10 hours because I was sick that weekend. I remember. That's why I remember because I was watching watching the guy play Zelda all day. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I, bu- I watched a couple of hours and I was like, this is awesome. I mean, I've seen, I've seen a demo right now. I just want to play it. And I heard there, there, there's, yeah. there's towns coming to the game, and they didn't show towns at all. So there's there's a lot of cool stuff coming to that game that we don't yeah. know yet. I'm and, excited about the towns and uh, yeah, the towns. You know, the the time changing, and it just looks sick, dude. And I'm just really hoping that it's not going to be canceled on the Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know we joke around like that, but man. It, could happen, right? I mean, well, that would make people buy the Switch, <laughs> the Wii U owners at least, <laughs> you know. So maybe it's a yeah. smart idea to uh, just cancel it for the Wii U. I hope Nintendo <laughs> doesn't look at this podcast <laughs> and they're like, okay, he says we should oh cancel it the Wii U. So be, uh, if they canceled it, dude, I would, I would still buy the Switch. <laughs> well, well, they're not gonna cancel it. Uh, because people would be angry, you know, and they, they, they don't want angry people, I don't think. And um, and Twilight Princess also came out for the GameCube and Wii, so. Yeah, man, like, um, those remakes are, are great, dude, because honestly, I'm happy with the playing them once. Like, I don't haven't replayed, like, I when I replay games, it has to be really good, man. When it has to be really good. Great. Yo, Richie, so, welcome. Yo, welcome. Yo, yo, welcome, dude. So when the game is really great, you know, I can replay it as many times as I want. Like, I won't get bored. Um, the Zelda games, I can play them once, and that's it, man. Like, I I just don't feel like... Because uh, I don't like collecting everything. I just want to do what I want, man. I don't really want to be collecting 100 um, heart pieces... Yeah. And this Zelda game that's coming out, it looks like I can do whatever I want. Yeah. You yeah. know, at my own pace. I'm not going to try to, like, beat it really quick. I'm going to sit back and enjoy the ride. So. That's basically how I'm going to play it as well. I'm just going to relax, do some, some quests, you know, and uh, explore. It seems like a fun world to explore just on your own pace, you know. And that's what I like about mm-hmm. it. And in the other games, um, it does have a little bit of that. I mean, like Twilight Princess, you you can scroll down the the big field and stuff, but that's about it, you know. Basically, the the creators uh, tells you where to go on these games, which is not bad, but for an adventure game, it's cool if you can choose your own uh, path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, back to uh, Mario Maker Two. <laughs> I was like, just gonna say. <laughs> yeah, no problem, no problem. Back to <laughs> Mario Maker Two. We're just talking about um, how it would work on the Switch. So of course, obviously, one of the main features is take it with you, make your level on the go. Yes. Um, but of course, there's not going to be any online when you take it with you, right? As far as we know, like there's no way. Yeah, well, uh, Wi-Fi maybe. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it, it's gonna be able to get Wi-Fi. So when you go to yeah. McDonald's, <laughs> <laughs> but if you're at the basketball courts, uh, maybe well, you got your uh, phone. Maybe you hotspot uh, off your phone. Maybe yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what they did with the uh, PlayStation Vita? I think they had a version where you could use a card, a phone card for internet. Oh yeah, like something a sim. Like maybe I don't um, think they're gonna do that, but maybe you could do that. But I don't think they'll do that. No, I don't think so as well. But <laughs> I mean, I 
uh, as long as you can just save your games, I'm, that's all I'm asking. Like, I don't really care for, you know, uploading a stage at the basketball courts. I'm going to keep using that, <laughs> by uh, the way, because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what Nintendo showed me. So, so basically, uh, what it should have is um, uh, like the 3DS. You can, uh, when you're close to each other, you can uh, play multiplayer. Yes. And that way they can mm -hmm. do like you can share your levels. Uh, if you're making a, the 3DS version has a, has something that you can make levels together. Uh, like two people can make one level in the 3DS version. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd that be sweet. That, and then maybe that's you can get perfect like for the Switch. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you can have like a little badge or something that says, "Hey, this was a co-op level made by two people." Yes. Little things like that. You know, like in Pokemon Go, there's like all those badges. If anybody plays Pokemon Go anymore, there's What's all Pokemon those badges. Go? I know. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be cool. Like, hey, this level was made by two people. This level was made on the go. You know, like this. It's just all these things that they can do because everybody likes showing off their achievements, just like Xbox. Achievements are awesome. I like achievements as well. <laughs> Uh, uh, Deadly, do you have, have you ever, um, like, played the Xbox 360s and 1s and done all that achievement hunting deal? Yeah, no, I've, d I've done that, and I've gotten, like, all the trophies, like, on the PS3 and yeah, stuff. Yeah, on PS3 as well, yeah. And then, like, well, Steam, like, with, like, yeah. PC games, all that stuff. That's, I think that adds to, like, the replay value for sure to a lot of games. Yeah, because challenges... When I heard about that on Mario Maker 3DS, I was like, oh, that's cool. Challenges for Mario Maker 2, man. Like, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the 3DS version, uh, you can um, add challenges to your level. Like, don't jump or... Yeah, like, don't jump or don't kill too many enemies. And I hope you can do that in your levels as well. Yeah, and then to add you get a medal. You. Yeah, you get the medal. Yeah, you like... You get an achievement. Like get all the like most people now use uh, red coins as a collect collectible, so it's not. You don't have to get them. But if you get the, all the red coins, you get the real ending. But then you can do if you get all the uh, red uh, coins, you get a medal. Get all the red coins. Finish the level with all mm -hmm. the red coins. Something like that, you know. Yeah, that would be cool to have. Like, um, of course, these would be customizable challenges i'm assuming yeah like, that you could yeah. choose from finish your level so with like, yoshi how about that that's a good uh, challenge yeah uh, maybe like find the uh, three secret rooms or something maybe there's something they can add where i don't know if you remember like back in the day the first game i can think of right now is duke nukem it tells you when you found a secret room hail to the king uh -huh. baby <laughs> holy <Yeah>. cow <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, good. imagine that in Mario Maker 2, you find a secret area and it's like, you know, one of three secret rooms found. Can you, fi can you find them all? Yeah, mm -hmm. like, uh, that's basically what I want also is custom messages. Um, I know Nintendo don't put them in, their, in the game because they're afraid of people swearing and stuff, but, you know, Mom, that, Mom, that Mom, happens, yeah. that happens, you know. And I wish uh, some levels need explaining, in my opinion. What would you mm -hmm. put? Uh, like uh, a, a sign. Box. Uh, like in Super Mario World, you have that uh, that face. If you jump on it, a text box appears. You know what I mean? Yeah. Would or you like use if that you for? I want that. Like if... like, would uh, you use it for storytelling or to uh, yeah. explain your level? You can you can get a story. You can put a story in there. You can uh, basically uh, yeah something like that. Also. Uh, if you're playing a level for the first time, you don't know if the red coins are optional or not. And you can put it in the box there. The red coins are optional. Uh, get it for the secret ending, you know? Something like that. Yeah. Or That's find the three secret rooms or find the Yoshi, rescue Yoshi. Yeah, you can put a story in there. Yoshi is kidnapped, Bowser got him, save him. Something like that would be cool. Or like a description before you start the level. Um, basically, but, a simple description before you start the level. You you can uh, put anything in there except swear words. 
Like this level. Okay, in this... everybody knows. Everybody here knows. That's what's gonna happen. Like in the, in this level, you have to uh, save Yoshi. Uh, the red coins are optional. Simple stuff like that. Or maybe if Nintendo is so afraid of uh, of uh, the swear stuff, you can uh, you have boxes. You can put boxes in red cups. Red coins optional. You tick the box. Um, mm-hmm. It's a speed run level. You tick the box. Something like that. I don't know. Well, there's already like swearing and stuff and like yeah in the coins what you, in yeah. in the comments and stuff yeah like, find you know, a way you can get around it I mean yeah I've so seen, so that's yeah. why just do it just do it you know people are gonna do stuff anyway what you don't just, want just make the game rated M yeah rated F from you no but, but um <laughs> uh you know when uh, when you're playing an online game and then the uh, it says like something uh. The rating is can be cha- can change or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it's okay, online. we can all agree. Okay. Nintendo's just scared that yeah. they're gonna start. People are gonna say, "My kid was playing Nintendo, and this guy told him to go." SMG. You know what himself? <laughs> well, that and already happens. On <laughs> I know. PS4. That's what I'm saying. Who cares at this point? Like Xbox. Like if, I don't know if you've ever like. Played Call of Duty on like either uh, Xbox or <laughs> PS4 and like done the voice chat like in the game, like that. <laughs> that shit is terrible. Like that people say. Yeah. Dude, sometimes I just say hello and I get cussed out. <laughs> and it's a little. Kid, it's a kid doing it to you too half the time. Yeah, yeah. It's always it's ridiculous because kids are. Um, it's mostly teen teenagers, I think, like twelve to sixteen. Because when you're 20 and you're still doing that stuff, you need to grow up, you know? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, at the end of the day, give us the damn boxes, Nintendo. But just have it so you can turn them on or off. Mm-hmm. That simple. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. That would fix it. Like, that I'm afraid I'm afraid my kids see some, some stuff. Uh, so I turn it off, you know? I'm just gonna put Mamma Mia in my box. That's all I'm gonna Mama put. Mamma Mia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds. Of course, like they're gonna say idea. "Get good." Get good, scrub. That's gonna be in there. Or I can. I know one that'd be popular is "You're not gonna beat this level." Go away, <laughs> or something like silly. You know. Yeah. You mad though? <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. Oh my gosh. That's okay. And I need to delete the laughing sound effects. <laughs> The I think they should add three versions of it. Three or four versions. <laughs> they should add like Mario's voice, like "Mamma Mia." <laughs> that would be cool. Parts of it or stuff. Mama or like Yoshi, me. like like when a Yoshi's coming up and be like Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can do that. That nice. would be cool. Yeah, they're gonna need another thing for Mario Maker Two. Would just be Luigi, man. Just add Luigi. I think adding Toad, Peach would be too complicated. Add Luigi. Give him extra height. Uh, what I would say Call is, it. um, if it's a, if he it plays differently, um, you should be able as a creator to tell to tell like this. This level is for Luigi and Mario, and this one is only for Mario, or this one is only for Luigi. Because oh, yeah. it's gonna be yeah. a, a lot harder to uh, for level creators to uh, you know they have to uh, play for both the character both characters have to beat it basically so you have yeah, to test it. so you have to upload it as Mario and you, then you have to upload it as Luigi <laughs> and then you have to do the checkpoints so if they're gonna if they I'm all up for a second playable character of course if they do that you mm-hmm. you should be able to like tell the level this is only for Mario. Because if you wanna want a challenge for only Mario, or you want a challenge for only Luigi, that would be cool. Yeah, because so, I can imagine there's gonna be a lot of soft locks if you're Mario, and then you have to switch to Luigi. Yeah. Switch to Mario. If they, if they wanna that's make not a, gonna be fun. Yeah, if they wanna make a level for just Luigi because he has higher jumps, uh, you can do that if you have the option to turn Mario off in that level. You know what I mean? Now, what if you had a where you could have like at like checkpoints you could like make it switch to Luigi for the next part they play. Uh, Kinda of like you yes, have that with, would like be the cool. costumes and like power ups and stuff. Yeah, that would be like, a good idea. Yeah. That would be neat. Yeah. 
the last thing I want to talk about with Super Mario Maker 2 is the ability to do some kind of co-op. So yes, we'll go around. Cool. We'll go around the table here. The uh, yeah, the table, and we'll just say our ideas for co-ops. Um, and I'll start it off. So with co-op, the one thing I love about it is like everybody could just play along. There's a there's some games I've done in the past. They have like a ghost, like you can see yeah, what they're yeah. doing, I know what you but mean. you can't interact with each other. You know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. That's what I want for um, when you're making a level. I want to see uh, you can see where they die, but you can't see how they die. It would be cool if you could watch people play through your level in the game. Yeah, or like watch replays. some kind of replay. Yeah, replays. replays. That's what I mean. Yeah. That would be a, a neat system. Uh, you don't have to go to Twitch or YouTube to see someone play your level and know, okay, I need to fix that. You can see it in the game. Yeah, that would be cool. But yeah. the the one main feature I would want would definitely be some kind of ghost co-op mode. Um, co-op mode like in Mario Wii U and New Super Mario Bros. where you can just wreck each other. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. I think that can, would get old really fast. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't. If they didn't add that, I wouldn't care. So that's what I would want. Um, what about you, uh, Deadly? What kind of multiplayer feature would you want? Leaderboards, something along those lines. Uh, I would like maybe something a little bit different. I'd like like a local, like um, co-op, kind of like how in like uh, or like <coughs> you, like you. Like, say you're playing, like, 100 Man or something, or if they put, like, the world feature in, if you're playing a world, so, like, you get a shot at it, and if you die, then, like, your friend who plays, like, Luigi gets a shot at it, or something like that, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, old school think, uh, Mario. When you yeah, die, like, you... Uh, like, it, the other person takes over, and it's their turn, like, yeah, and dude. you each have, like, your own lives and stuff like that. I think that'd be cool. And that's a very simple thing to implement. They don't have to yeah. worry about online stuff. It's super easy to make for them. So, yeah. Yeah. That's an awesome idea. You can even have like a competitive, like, hey, who's going to beat it first, man? Mm hmm. No? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's super. That's a really good idea. That's a great idea. Um, me about multiplayer, yeah. Uh, leaderboards would be really cool um, in each level. Like you can have a leaderboard. Uh, mm -hmm. And what you said is a really great idea as well, with the uh, switching the uh, when somebody dies, you have to switch the player. Mm -hmm. That's a really good idea. Uh, I don't think they're gonna make online multiplayer. I oh, know. That's not. That's not gonna <laughs> happen probably. <laughs> sadly, that sadly, would be, uh, sadly. That would be, that would be pretty cool. Like if if you make a level just for co-op, like uh, your Mario and Luigi can stand on Mario and then you can jump higher. That would be cool, but I don't think they're gonna do that. Yeah, just like how we've always wanted multiplayer in Mario Party, uh, multiplayer, and you know they finally did it, Mario Kart. Yeah, online in in Mario Party they don't have online multiplayer. That's I don't know why they should do that. That would be sick. At least for the mini games. Yes. Yeah. At least, but, but why not the board as well? Rage quit. Rage quit. Well, <laughs> it's a oh, party game. Uh, back to it. Oh, you play the first round. The guy like screws up and goes back to being screw this. Rage quit. Oh. Um, well, you can rage quit in any game. Fighting games had that problem as well, but they get punished. Punish the player who rage quit, you know? True. Um, I want to say one more thing about the uh, Super Mario Maker editor. Uh, what I would want in that. And you can, you guys can uh, comment on that as well. Um, so basically what, what irks me a lot in Super Mario Maker is I always run out of blocks. Uh, the solid ground blocks. Every mm. level I've made so far, I run out of blocks, and it's not. And I like to 
uh, if I'm making a cave level, I want to have a lot of blocks because a, a cave is closed in. But if you do that in Mario Maker, you're like really quickly you're, you're out of blocks and I hate that a lot. Um, and I wish you had more options in the background. Like you can't, uh, the clouds are on a fixed position, stuff like that. I want to be able to put clouds wherever I want. And same goes for the trees and flowers that go out of the ground blocks. Um, you can only put them on the ground blocks. Why can't I put them on other blocks? You know what I mean? Like if I want, I, if I make a platform, uh, the green tree platform or something like that, or the mountain platform, you can put uh, trees and flowers on the mountain. Okay. Why not make that an option as well? And they, pro they can do it. I mean, I don't see why it can't be unlimited. Because I've but, played um, uh, old PC games and you have unlimited blocks. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm going to say it was they made a call and said, hey, if we don't if we have unlimited blocks, how many stages are just going to be <laughs> unlimited blocks on well, the screen? You, you have to beat the level. So, yeah. But uh, we've seen those levels where you can just run yeah. right to left, right to left, right to left, right yeah. to left. Well, the problem is the more freedom you give the players, uh, the more problems people can make to make crappy levels. But that's going to happen anyway. It's a game where you make your own <laughs> levels. Every Everything you put in the game can be abused. If you don't want nothing to uh, be abused, do like two items in the game, then you're done. No, nothing can be abused. You know, <laughs> everything is going to be abused. Uh, if they add, they'll find a way. If they add ten new items, uh, millions of bad levels will be using that item in a wrong way. But that's just have that, that that just you can't solve that. You know. So deadly. I'm just hoping for the best, man. I, I see no reason why. So, final question. Mario Maker 2, is it going to happen? Yes or no? Just yes or no from everybody. And uh, we'll wrap it up, guys. So, Mario Maker 2, yes. They're crazy if they don't make it. They're crazy. Well, they are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm going to say yes as well. I'm gonna say maybe. Well, that's not a yes or no. Mamma mia! I'm gonna <laughs> say, I'm gonna say yes, but not for... yes with a question mark. <laughs> yeah, yes uh, with a question mark. Maybe not like money, right away. Nintendo. <laughs> well, sometimes I don't think they like money. Sometimes I do think that. Yeah. So we'll come back to this. Um, so we're gonna wrap it up, guys. Um, thanks for having us, Crush. No problem. Yeah, thanks, Crush. Take us home, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the end of the first podcast. Uh, uh, this is our first podcast, so uh, let us know how we did. Uh, is there anything we can improve on? We would like to hear that. Also, we have a website uh, about the Super Saiyan stream. That's us. That is me, Deadly, Gaming Sart, and Richie D. Um, can somebody oh. put uh, the website in the chat, please? Uh, just uh, a second. Yeah. And we're going to do this uh, at least every week. This time, uh, each Saturday, and there's probably going to be... Oh. <laughs> no, Nightbot was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Link. All right, I'm going to copy and paste it. Um, yeah. I don't know... Uh, gaming, is there going to be a second one each week? And do you know the day and time uh, already, or you don't? Um, but we'll probably have a poll for our next topic. Yes. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Uh, you can also find us on Twitter, and you can send us their uh, topic IDs as well. I think that should be a good mm -hmm. idea as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I think that's basically it. Uh, anything you want to add, gaming or deadly or Richie? 
Good night, everybody. Yeah, I think that covers it for us. Yes. Okay, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for joining, and we hope to see you next week. Mm hmm. Have a good day, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night.